Um, I just sent you a photo. Seven twenty-seven. Time to go inside the numbers to bring you the news of the day, Kelly Jackson. Okay. According to Gallup, four point one percent of American adults uh-huh. identify themselves as LGBT. Four point one percent. What is that? I wonder what that is. That's a good question. Wise. Ten million people. Really. 10 million people out of 350 million people Hmm. consider themselves L, G, B, or T. Hmm. And Q, which I don't quite understand what the Q is. Um, Isn't that... I don't know. I don't know what the Q is. I don't want to say... I don't know what the Q is. And be offensive, but I think I... I mean, I know what it is. I I don't know what the Q is. Uh, Listen to this. According to the Associated Press, good news for those who want to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. Yeah. In the early morning hours, the Senate voted 51-48 on a budget measure that would make it easier to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Republicans don't have a framework to work out something to re- replace Obamacare, but the passage of this makes it easier to simply overturn the law. What are they going to do? Who cares? Get rid of it. Much prefer people have no insurance. Mm. Yes. Um, according to the Center for Public Integrity, mm. municipal billing records indicate cities have invoiced the Trump campaign at least $204,000 in unpaid bills for police protection provided during the course of the campaign. Wait, how much? $204,000. The Clinton campaign owes owes $25,000. Mm. So the Trump campaign owes $200,000. Clinton owes, owes 25000 25. Uh, and finally, in the news conference yesterday, Donald Trump announced they would turn over control of his business to his sons, but not sell them. He also mm-hmm. said that this past weekend, he turned down a $2 billion development in Dubai. Yes, he did. That's what he said. He said the company will not make any foreign deals while he is president, but he still could entertain domestic offers if they pass a vetting process. Hmm. Speaking of Donald Trump, he has criticized Republicans, Democrats, the Pope, U.S. elections, the CIA, the FBI, NATO, Meryl Streep, John McCain, (laughs) but he has yet to criticize Vladimir Putin. Or Michelle Obama. Those are the numbers (laughs) inside the news on the Big 550 KTRS.